welcome friends in this video tutorial we are going to talk about how viruses are going to be replicate the easiest way to understand how viruses replicate is to study the life cycles of viruses called bacteriophages this bacteriophages replicates by either a lytic cycle or a lysogenic cycle the difference in two cycle is that the cell dies at the end of lytic cycle and cell is remains alive in the lysogenic cycle so the first one that is lytic cycle the most studies bacteriophage is the t even bacteriophage it composed of head and tail structure and contains the genome of double stranded dna the lytic cycle of replication begins with a attachment of bacteriophage and bacteria the first step that is attachment after the attachment the tail of the bacteriophage attached to a receptor site on the bacterial cell wall after this attachment the bacteriophage uses its a tail like needle to inject its dna into this bacterium this process is called penetration the bacteriophage that use an enzyme that is the lysosome in its tail to break down the cell wall and unable it uh, injects the dna into cell after the injection of dna into the cell of bacteria the head or capsid of bacteriophage remains on the outside of the cell wall after the dna is going to be injected into this host bacterium cell cytoplasm then biosynthesis takes place here the t even bacteriophage use the host bacterium nucleotides and some enzymes to make the copies of bacteriophage the dna this dna is transcribed into mrna which directs the synthesis of viral enzymes and capsid proteins several of these viral enzymes catalyze the reaction that makes copies of bacteriophage dna the bacteriophage dna will then direct the synthesis of viral components by the host cell then maturation will takes place here the t even bacteriophage dna and capsid are put together in order to make virons the last stage is, is the release of virons from this host bacterial bacterium cell the bacteriophage enzyme lysozyme breaks apart the bacterial cell wall that lyses the cell wall of bacteria and the new viron escapes this escapes of this new, uh, new bacteriophage will remains then then infects the neighboring cell and the cycle will continues in these cells so the first one that is attachment of this bacteria and the virus and after attachment there will be penetration by this needle in of bacteriophage then after the penetration it use the lysosome enzyme for the penetration and the biosynthesis will takes place in the biosynthesis they use the host cell machinery to synthesize the viral dna then makes the rna and the protein and after this biosynthesis then maturation will takes place and after the maturation that release the virons from this host bacterium cell so there will be the lysis process and this cycle is known as lytic cycle after this lysis this new bacteriophage will infect it ready to be infect for the neighboring cell and this cycle will continues and continues goes on this process that is called lytic cycle one of the uh, cell lysis uh, that is light, lytic cycle now the second one that is the lysogenic cycle 
Now in this lysogenic cycle, the cell is not going to be lysis, but it will integrate into this host genome. Some viruses do not cause the lysis and ultimate ultimate destruction of their host cell, which they infect. Their viruses are called lysogenic phages. They do not uh, lysis the cell. They are called lysogenic phages and temporite phages. This bacteriophage establishes a stable uh, long-term relationship with their host that is called lysogeny. These bacterial cells infected by these phages are called lysogenic cells. These infected cells are called lysogenic cells. The most studied bacteriophage which multiplies using the lysogenic cycle is the bacteriophage lambda. This bacteriophage infects the bacterium E. coli. The most studied that is bacteriophage lambda. This bacteriophage infects the bacterium that is E. coli. When it penetrates the E. coli bacteria, the bacteriophage DNA forms a circle. This circle recombines with the circular DNA of bacteria. It will integrate into this DNA of bacteria. This bacteriophage DNA is called prophage. Now every time the bacteria host cell that replicates normally, so does the prophage DNA. And after the integration, it will leads to this replicate the DNA. And new phages, new bacteria will max. On sometimes on occasion, what happens? However, the bacteriophage DNA can break out of the prophage and initiate the lytic cycle. So the lysogenic cycle will convert it into the lytic cycle when the uh, external uh, effects will occur when the external environment based on that it will convert this lysogenic cycle into the lytic cycle so then the cell lysis will take place and after the cell lysis this lytic cycle will carry on then it is converted this conversion based on the environmental factors that is the lysogenic cycle that converts into the lytic cycles. So this is the two ways of replicates the uh, replicates the virus. How virus is going to be replicated? If you talk about these two phases, then uh, first that is lytic cycle, second one lysogenic cycle. In lytic cycle, what happens? There will be attachment, penetration. Then after the penetration, the biosynthesis will take place. After the biosynthesis, then the maturation takes place. And the maturation, from that maturation, it will end up with the cell lysis. And the virus, new virus is escaped and the cell remains the continue for this cycle. And the neighboring cell will affected by this virus. But in the lysogenic cycles, it will be establish the relationship with the host cell. And the most studies uh, bacteriophage, that is the bacteriophage lambda. And this bacteriophage lambda integrates into the host genome and it will be recombines their genetic material and this cell is going to be replicated normally. But sometimes due to this external condition, what happens? This uh, lysogenic cycle that will be converted into the lytic cycle. So this process is continues going on and on. So there are the two cycles that is lytic and lysogenic cycle. So that is all about the replication of viruses. I hope this video is helpful to you guys and if you want to like my videos then click the like button. 
subscribe my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to get notification and if you have any doubts any queries regarding this so you can ask me in the comment section i will answer the questions i hope this video is helpful to you guys thanks for watching